Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Carolyn. I'm a mom to twins named Summer and Winter, and today I'm going to share with you how to put this stroller, the Bugaboo Donkey Twin, into that bag. This is how we take it with us whenever we fly across the country into a different country. We like to travel a lot. We have family in Germany. So this is how we bring our stroller everywhere we go. Tag along with me and I'll show you how it works. And as always, don't forget to subscribe if you love twin mom life or family travel tips. Thanks. So just so you get an idea of what the stroller looks like, this is the stroller in its whole form. It's the Bugaboo Donkey Twin, and it gets the job done. In this video, I'm showing you how I fit it into the bag using it in the seat mode, but you can also do this when it is in the bassinet mode. So first I remove both of the seats. And I condense it to its smallest size, which means pushing the handlebar all the way down. And then additionally, I'm gonna push it inward by making it go into the single mode. And I slide it into single mode. And I'm going to remove all the wheels. Each wheel has a little button that I just push and then it pops right out. Once I have all the wheels off, I go ahead and fold this into its smallest position. So that's the frame, those are the wheels, and those are the seats. Don't forget to also remove the canopies. And it helps if you zip this closed, just to condense it a little bit more. As you can see, this bag folds out quite big, so I'm going to show you how that looks. Unbuckle this part and roll it up. I'm going to do it with the wheels on this side. So this is the bottom of the bag and this is the top of the bag. Each side folds out as well. So this is what the whole bag looks like. And then inside, there's also a smaller bag. This is specifically for the wheels so that they stay in a safe zone when they're not gonna make everything else a big mess. Because typically, the wheels are the dirtiest part of the stroller. I put the side wheels facing this way so that they're not sticking out. And then I put the big wheels with the things going down facing into the other wheels so to maximize space. And then I close it and Velcro. Done. Now I'm just gonna set this aside. Right there, that'll work for now. Next, unfold all the buckles. There's a buckle going this way, and then this way, going down, and going up. You have an open space. 
This is where it gets interesting. You're also gonna to wanna to consult the instructions to make sure that you're doing it right. So first you're gonna put the frame in and you want these things that stick out to go on the bottom. And the rotator area is also gonna go towards the wheel with the handle going up here. So it's gonna look just like this, laying down. The first seat is gonna go in facing down with the bottom of the seat going this direction. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna go over the handlebar, you're gonna lift this up. So it's kind of tricky. You wanna lift this up and you wanna slide this all the way down. All right, you with me so far? It should look like this. Like I said, I know it's kind of funky, but the first seat, the top is up there, the bottom's down here, the thing that sticks out is going that direction, you see? And it fits in, it comes out right about here and here, so it doesn't actually hit anything. And this part goes into the center. All right, the next seat, is also gonna be face down, but it's going to be the opposite direction. Meaning the top part of the seat is gonna go down here and the bottom part of the seat is gonna go down here. But it's gonna do the same thing. You're gonna go underneath and through. Make sure to be really gentle with your stroller while you're doing this process. So it should look something like this. You've got both seats underneath. The handle comes out underneath everything that direction while the rest of the frame is on top. It's probably better if you can take off the storage area compartment, but I just simply prefer to keep it on. Personal preference. Totally up to you. All right, now for the easy part. This simply just goes right here. That was the wheels that we did. That. You can put these into the side bag that comes with the stroller, or you can just have them sit like this. Before we zip it up, we have to buckle everything. This is just to keep everything from coming loose. Pull tight. That's solid. There we go. Now we can zip everything up. also make sure that everything is as center as can be at least with the frame because if the frame is too close on either of the sides then it's not going to close so so far when you close the bottom it looks like that then you're additionally going to take the top and fold it over and the buckle will be the last thing that you do first you're going to go ahead and zip all of this up from here. buckled, all closed, and you can lift it up with 
this mighty handle. Boom. That, my friends, is what it looks like when it is in completely enclosed inside. Don't forget to fill out your name and put it in here so that you've got your address in case it gets lost or anything like that because it is still checked baggage. The other thing that's nice is that there are wheels on the bottom. So when you're walking around the airport with it, you can roll it. That is definitely one of my favorite features. And just in case you're curious how much this weighs, I'm gonna go ahead and use my little bag scale here to find out exactly how much it weighs so that you have a clue too. Moment of truth, 49.7 pounds, just barely under 50 pounds. That's a heavy bag. But that totally works because most airlines allow you to have up to 50 pounds, so you're just barely under, just enough to take this with you. Unfortunately, you're not gonna be able to store anything extra in there in case that's something that you were thinking about doing. Anyways, thanks so much, guys. I'm so glad that I could share this with you on how to travel with your Bugaboo Donkey Twin. If you enjoyed this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I share lots of travel vlogs full of tips on how we travel with two babies internationally on a regular basis. <laughs> We've actually taken them to Germany three times within the first 22 months of their life. <laughs> First time we took them, they were nine months old and then 14 months old and then 22 months old. We also took them to Mexico. We also did a road trip for a month in our VW van. We do a lot of travel with them. So bottom line guys, in case you're wondering, it's absolutely perfectly possible to travel with little ones and I hope that it goes great for you. Happy travels. Thanks for watching. See you next time. One more thing, just in case you're interested in watching the full walkthrough and review on this stroller. I'm happy to share that video as well. I will link it in the description below. Thanks guys. <laughs> that bag is heavy. <laughs> like seriously, who needs a gym when you're putting this bag together with the stroller? It takes a minute. So give yourself a little bit of time, have patience, and don't forget a little bit of water as well. 